this is a laser interferometer and I've shown this in previous videos. Um, what I've got here is a new board for it. On the uh, previous boards there are sensors here for humidity and temperature and air pressure but since hardly anybody's been using those on the new boards those are gone. What we did add here is a little display so you can run this without a computer if you want to. And at the moment it just shows counts, but you know, you can change the code and uh, hard code in what kind of mirror setup you have and it can give you distances. The major difference that, uh, between this new board and the old board is that the new board can take homodyne as well as heterodyne laser interferometer signals. Um, so there's an extra type of uh, laser interferometer that this can drive. Also, in a previous video, I have shown that this kind of setup can take signals from any quadrature encoder, so glass slides and rotary encoders. And so that means that this board here can uh, handle a, a larger variety of signals. And there's nothing to stop you from putting a homodyne laser into one of these inputs and putting a glass scale into a second input on the same axis and map the accuracy of your glass scale with a laser interferometer this way. You can also use this board to close your loop using one of those laser interferometers and various other things. So this is a new board now and uh, I think it's kind of cool so I wanted to share that. Here's another example of how this board can be used. In this case, the laser is uh, custom made from a single frequency laser and it has been modified into a Zeeman laser. 